to today's edition of ABL Recap. My name is Daniel Conti and joining me today is Joshua Uy and also the returning Carl Batong Bakal where we talk about the ins and outs of the ABL. So let's jump right into the action today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yesterday it was the Sunday doubleheader of the ABL mm -hmm. which headlined two colossal matchups between Mono Vampire and San Miguel Alan Pilipinas and also the Taipei Fubo and Braves and the Kuala Lumpur Dragons. So let's jump right into the action first with the Mono Vampire and San Miguel Alan Pilipinas, man. It was an onslaught. <laughs> <laughs> that disappointing. Shows, we were right mm. during the first episode. Okay. I don't know if Carl was there. No, I, I, I saw it. Mm -hmm. I saw yeah. it. During the first episode, we said that Mono Vampire will look like a team that has been playing together for a while mm. now. Yeah. Well, San Miguel Alan Pilipinas will look like a team that's newly built, no chemistry at mm. all. I think. We were right. It were, the it box score showed. The box score showed it. Mm -hmm. that, that definitely, yeah. So, like, Mono Vampire had 23 assists mm -hmm. compared to the 11 assists of Alo Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. They had 18 threes. Mm, man, I don't know if it's because they have good shooters or if mm -hmm. Alo Pilipinas is having trouble with their defensive scheme. It's yeah. more of the like. Let's give credit to the Mono Vampire. They have mm -hmm. a lot of great shooters yes. with Bunser, yeah. with uh, Chichai Ananti. Mm -hmm. Moses Morgan. Mm -hmm. Four out of five. Four Moses out of Morgan. five. Man, he was just pulling up one, and then <laughs> two, and then three. But before the buzzer sounds. I Asian mean, Steph Curry. ABL Steph Curry. We'll I'll see. I mean, we'll see. Okay, we'll see. We'll okay. see. But everything else, like, Mono Vampire really took the advantage from mm. every stat line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially in a field goal percentage, they shot around 48% from the field, while Alab. It's, this is the, the big struggle point for Alab. They just yeah. managed to put up 31% yeah. from the field. And I think it's not more like of the rebounding or mm. the turnovers because it's a stalemate. Yeah. But it's more on the field goal percentage, the shooting touch of Alab. Mm. It's more like they're trying to gain ground. Right it was this much. It was this much. Yeah. Mm. And they didn't even know where their teammates would be. Yeah. I remember one pass, I think, from, I think from Jason Brickman. Mm -hmm. His teammate wasn't ready for the pass. Yeah. It just shows that they haven't really had time to mesh together, to, to build that chemistry yeah. together. Mm -hmm. But it's a good thing, it's the first game of the season. Mm. So they have a lot of time mm -hmm. until the playoffs, yeah. if they make the playoffs. Well, I, I think so. they will. Okay, I think they, they will. will. They will make Come on, well, think, well, they, they will make do the it. playoffs. Come on, you just, you know, you're, like, you're underplaying them, man. They will make the five playoffs. Games. Give them yeah. like five games, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. after five games, let's see if they can tweak something. And, you know, <laughs> might, might as well be make a run towards the playoffs. And also, I uh, mentioned this, um, mm -hmm. Mike Singletary, mm -hmm. 19 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists, mm -hmm. shooting 53% from the field mm -hmm. in just 23 minutes of play. Monster game, basically. Basically. Yeah. basically. So if you gave him like more minutes, what do you think will be his stat line? 30 plus easily. Mm -hmm. It just shows how the game was from the get-go. Yeah. They didn't have to play their star players long minutes mm -hmm. to yeah. get the victory. Mm -hmm. They could, like they were in cruise, cruise control yeah. uh, starting the second half. I mean, I mean, even the first half, it was just yeah. an onslaught. Like when I just turned on the TV, it's like, ooh, 20 point game right away. <laughs> that's, that's insane for one. Don't vampire. hurt my feelings because I made a wrong prediction, man. Don't. Oh, you, <laughs> no, yeah, you predicted Alam Pilipinas? Okay, so Carl was Just wrong, we were right. Yeah, they were right, I was wrong. Can, up, we, can we please move on? Oh, come on. Okay, okay. let's move on. Let's on move on. 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 Okay, let's, let's go. Hurt his feelings right you now. You are but hurting me. This matchup, this next matchup is really an exciting one. We didn't expect this at all. Mm -hmm. Kuala Lumpur Dragons stunning mm. yes. the Taipei Fubon Braves 91 to 90. Yeah. I can't believe it. I mean, you saw the game, right? Yeah, I did. The, dude, I chose to watch that game over Alab, mm -hmm. okay. surprisingly. And I bet on the Alab game. <laughs> <laughs> I just bet food. I was hungry, man. Okay, 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 but okay. you know, I saw the Dragons play. They surprised me. Okay. And we put them up in the preseason rankings as number nine. Num yes. And you know, with the way they played, it wasn't a number nine seeded team. Mm -hmm. This is a team that can potentially make the playoffs if they continue to play this way as a team, as t together. Mm -hmm. And you know, with Will Artino continuing to shore up the offense and the defense because he put up unimpressive 25 points and 20 rebounds today. Monster stats. Man, debut game for Will Artino for yep. the Dragons, 25 and 20. He's about to change the culture mm -hmm. for UKL Dragons. Oh. Man, wait, wait, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Just to be fair, yes. mm-hmm. the Taipei Fubon Braves uh-huh. were playing a back-to-back. Oh, you're, mm-hmm. you're, they oh, had a tough game yesterday against the Macau Black Bears. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now they have the second game right now okay. with the fresh, hungry dragons. So mm-hmm. I think we have to put... Well, okay, you know, fine. To just fine. to be fair, mm-hmm. maybe fatigue. Mm-hmm. Maybe they, they were tired. All the adrenaline from you know the opening fine, game. Fine. Okay, I'll give them that. Okay. They were fatigued. There were times in the game when the Braves just looked out of it. They were, in, they were in control for a better part of the mm-hmm. game, actually. Mm-hmm. But then there were times when they just felt, oh, no, I'm not going to run for this defensive play. They can have it. I have teammates back there. Okay. <laughs> and then the people in the front court, they would be expecting, oh, they're coming in from behind anyway. So I can take a load off for a while. Mm-hmm. But then, then the next thing you know, you have a Will Artino fast break two-point layup. Yeah. So, you know, the fatigue is there. We'll still, you can see it. Still it's, there. Them credit. it's there. It is there. Still give them credit about it. Like. Yeah. The Taipei football Braves mm-hmm. managed to close it out in like a one-point game, yeah. given their back-to-back situation. Yes. Yes. I mean, I'm still proud of the Taipei football Braves and what <laughs> they've showed up. But yeah. man, <laughs> it was just the Dragons on this one. It was just a little too much in the yeah. gas tank, man. They had little. The football Braves had little. Taipei football Braves they had little today. But what I what I like about that game is mm-hmm. OJ Mayo he showed up. Yeah, he did. Definitely, like he definitely scored, showed up. Scored like 20 plus points. I'm looking at his stats right now. He's he put up a 23-point outing. Mm-hmm. Including four po- four rebounds and three assists with two steals. Sixty six percent. Sixty six percent. That is eight out of twelve. I so mean, you know, for an import, the caliber yeah. of OJ Mayo. These are the numbers that you want to see from him. Yes. You want to yes. see him carry the offense for the Taipei Fubon Braves. And yes. looking forward, we can agree that he'll have a bigger role in the offense. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And just to be fair, again for the other side, the Dragons, <laughs> we were talking about. Their lack of offense last yeah. year, yeah. Mm-hmm. their Definitely. field goal percentage. Now they scored 91 points in their first game. Mm-hmm. So I think they're heading to the right direction. Yeah. But we have to yeah. see if they can. They can continue with it. They can continue the, the yes. power yes. ranking yeah. and make it to the playoffs. <laughs> Definitely. Let's see, we'll see. Who even ranked them at ninth? <laughs> that was not my I, fault. I, I, that was me. <laughs> no, you. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. We heard that one on ABL recap, and now moving on. Let's preview the games. For the next next, next Saturday, yes. Yeah. yes, yeah, next Saturday, it's gonna be a great matchup as mm-hmm. well. With you're looking at the Mono Vampire going up against the la- last year's number one seeded team, mm-hmm. the Formosa Dreamers. Formosa Dreamers, okay. Also, yeah. it's a Macau rivalry as well with Macau Wolf Warriors taking on the Macau Black Bears. Mick McKinney versus Stephen Thomas. And Douglas Herring. Yes, yes. Why are, are you matching up Mick McKinney to Stephen Thomas? That's <laughs> I mean, unfair! I mean, you know, at this point, they're both ABL legends. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. McKinney's, you know, the, num- okay, the way okay. McKinney's playing? Okay, okay. okay. Give him two more years, he's an ABL legend. Uh, I thought it was like the more like one on one situation. <laughs> but, you know, still a legend, yeah, regardless. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so let's talk about the Formosa Dreamers mm-hmm. matchup against. Who yeah. again? The Mono Vampire. Mono Vampire. Vampire. Yeah. Who do you think will win that matchup? I'm going with Mono Vampire again. Mono Vampire. Oh man, I don't want to sound like it's, a Mono Vampire again, it's hater, like man. A home court advantage again. I'm not saying this like as a fan. I'm not a fan much. <laughs> I mean, I'm not speaking on a fan's perspective, mm-hmm. but I'm just seeing it like realistically mm. speaking. I mean, Mono Vampire just has a stacked lineup. All of their local show. If, if they continue this showing, I mean, they could. They, That's a top three seeded team. Yeah. They could crush the Formosa Dreamers. But I mean, give. I mean. Give me the benefit of the doubt. I yeah. mean, for Muscle Dream, which is still a great team, mm-hmm. uh, with Jet Chang, who's a versatile scorer, yeah. Kenny Chen will j- surely show up. We have Marcus Keane, mm-hmm. a great scorer, tiny player, and but big yeah. scorer. Yeah, and mm-hmm. you know what? I'm giving it to the Formosa Dreamers, actually. Oh. You know okay. why? Kyle Julius. Kyle Julius makes magic okay. out of nothing. Mm-hmm. Okay. This man brought the Saigon Heat to its first winning season mm-hmm. and also their first postseason victory. Mm-hmm. I okay. will give Kyle Julius the magic and okay. give the okay, form, okay. Formosa Dreamers this one. Maybe. Uh, what you got, Josh? I give it to you. They, they have Liam McMorrow, a uh-huh. 7-2 big man yeah. who mm-hmm. runs the floor. They Definitely. have Jeremy on a two-way player. Yeah. But Mono Vampire is going to oh, win. Yeah. Oh, man. They're That's going but, to be 2-0 by the end of next week. Who knows? Maybe Mike Singletary will play like 30 minutes a game in the game. And man, he can dominate. Mono, I don't hate you. I love you. <laughs> and also watch it's, out. For Freddie Lish, he's just three points away. Oh, yeah, three points is. away from 1,000 points. Yeah. A huge accomplishment in yeah. the ABL. Well, congratulations to that. Freddie and Lish. I hope you can hit that three to mark your spot. Advanced congratulations to you, man, because we know, everyone knows, that you will make that 1,000 mark. 
Okay. Speaking of that, Mark, let's mm -hmm. move on to the other side of things. Mm -hmm. We have the Macau Wolf Wars and the Macau Black Bears. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be an exciting matchup yeah. for me. So, Again, I was like, surprised by the Macau <laughs> Black Bears. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they gave the Taipei Fubon Braves a great match. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brandon Edwards, definitely. 20 rebounds definitely, at definitely. 6, Dude, six against Tim Bular, Charles Garcia. Yeah. I don't know no. what to make of the Macau Black Bears well, right now. I'm just worried about like how will he perform against an all-time great in Stephen Thomas. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Stephen Thomas is all Jack, but yeah. you know, with Brandon Edwards just yeah. playing with. And all we were hustle. there for the Macau uh, Wolf Warriors training session for me today. Mm -hmm. Okay. This year they have a new training facility. Last yeah. year they didn't have their own gym. Okay. okay. They have their own training facility with their new equipment, a new coach. Mm -hmm. They're taking it seriously this year. Mm -hmm. Wow. With great veteran players, mm -hmm. with great imports. So yeah. I want. I would like to see how that translates to the floor. Uh, to see Douglas Herring running the floor, yeah. mm -hmm. with Julian Boyce, even Thomas, and even the Derek King mm -hmm. was once part of the Macau Black Bears, yes. now playing for the Macau Wolf Force. We'll see what happens. Also, let's not forget about the matchup, Mike McKinney and mm -hmm. also Kai Chen. Like, both are just feasting on buckets. Yes, that's, those, are, those are two walking buckets, man. Mm -hmm. And also with Kenny Manigault, mm -hmm. it's going to be a hard matchup for the Macau Wolf Warriors because, again, Manigal just showed up last game with a 31 yeah. point mm -hmm. performance. Yeah. And he's really great yep. on both ends of the court, rebounding, chasing down the lanes, mm. giving wide open looks. Yeah, I mean, he's just a great he's, player as well. You know, he's been a complete player thus far mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the in the what the past first the past game against the Taipei yeah. Fubon Braves. Yes, you know he has a great outlook for the season. But now I want to hear from both of you, actually from all three of us. Let's just throw <laughs> it out there. Who wins? Who wins it? Black Bears. Oh my God. Nelson Chen, <laughs> he'll play, he'll play. I'll go for the Black Bears. I'm now a Brandon Edwards believer oh with the 20 re I, Brandon, I doubted you. I'm very sorry I doubted you. But now I am a believer. Mm -hmm. Brandon Edwards can rebound and face big guys in the league. You know what? I'm giving this to Stephen Thomas in the Macau Wolf Warriors, man. You know, okay. I'll give the underdogs the benefit of the doubt. Okay, okay. They, they might pull off a surprise. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll, we'll, see. we'll see this weekend, man. And if you want to share us your thoughts, well, feel free to tweet us and mention us at CN Basketball. Also, don't forget to use the hashtag Rise10 Greatness. Greatness. Also, follow our social media handles. It's facebook.com slash ASEAN Basketball League. And also, follow our IG. It's ASEAN Basketball League. Also, mm -hmm. subscribe to our YouTube channel yes. for more highlights. Watch the highlights and the condensed games. If man. you didn't watch the game, you can still watch it there. Yes, sir and watch Carl be wrong again. Yes. And I will not cry this time because I am right. I will be <laughs> right this weekend. You know, we'll, we'll see. see. We'll, we'll be see. right we'll this week as we end this ABL recap episode. So yeah, with, from all of us here in the, uh, in the studio, actually. Yeah. Joshua Uwe, Carl Batumbakal. This has been Daniel Conti and we'll see you again next time. Yes, Peace sir. Out.